Here we go, though, at your top 25 is how it looks. Gators get 53 of 59 first place votes. Rounding out the top 10, Texas, Oklahoma, USC, Alabama, followed by OSU, Vatek, Penn State, LSU, and Ole Miss. Your next 10, then, include the Cowboys of Oak State at 11, followed by the Bears at Cal, Georgia, Oregon, and Georgia Tech at 15. The Broncos of Boise State are 16, followed by TCU, Utah, Florida State, and North Carolina. And here we go, 21 through 25. Iowa, Nebraska, and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame, followed by BYU and the Beavers of Oregon State. To discuss it all, we're now joined by college football analysts here at ESPN, Craig James. And Craig, looking at this poll, Florida, clear number one, but then you have Texas and Oklahoma slotted 2-3, very, very close, in your opinion, then, right to have the Longhorns there in the two spot. I think so. I, you know, and the way that I'm able to separate these two teams from, because they're so close between Colt McCoy and Sam Bradford is I look at the line play up front. Oklahoma having to replace four offensive linemen, a line that allowed only three sacks last year. That's a big kind of a transition for them. So I look at Texas on defense. They've got a lot of youth coming back. They did lose Brian Arakpo and Roy Miller on the defensive line. But I think the edge, because of the lack of, of experience at Oklahoma's offensive line, I have to give the nod to Texas, and I, too, had them number two in my poll. So we have two Heisman uh, winners returning in the top three there, the quarterbacks, also Colt McCoy. A lot of people thought he should have won it a year ago. Meanwhile, uh, in the middle of the pack there, uh, can you give us a team that you're going to keep your eye on? Well, you know, I think, you know, when you look at Ole Miss right there at number 10, that's probably about right for them. Jevin Snead's a heck of a quarterback, and you have to give the nod to Snead as the quarterback. Houston Nutt now has to have his team focused. Can they handle the spotlight? That's the one question that I have for them. Some folks were saying they were a top five preseason team. I didn't think that. But this is a team clearly that has the ability to move to number five because of Jevin Snead, or they could go the other direction and drop to 15 to 20 in a heartbeat. So I'd watch them. I also like Cal. Cal is at 12 in this poll. I think they're number eight in the country. But uh, Cal out in the Pac-10 with USC rebuilding a little bit. Uh, maybe Cal makes a statement this year. Of course, Jevin Steed and Ole Miss going into Florida last year, uh, beating the Gators. And then here we go, Craig. Notre Dame, ranked number 23. Many suggest it is a weak schedule that could allow for a 9- or 10-win year there under Charlie Weiss. Uh, do they deserve, uh, well, first top 25 mentioned, a lot of people per suggesting perhaps they have a BCS future this year. <laughs> I got them wrong last year. I drank the Kool-Aid, and I thought they had an easy schedule then, and they blew that. Uh, I don't think that they should be a top 25 team. I mean, you know, I look at this, this ball club. They're in transition still, trying to figure out who they are. Uh, Jimmy Clausen's a good quarterback. Charlie Weiss is saying all the right things. He's going to coach up the quarterback and call the plays offensively. That's great. But how can you justify Notre Dame being a top 25? There are no Big East teams in this top 25 coaches poll. You're telling me that Cincinnati or West Virginia don't deserve to be above Notre Dame? I don't buy that. I think the Irish have the upside. They have a chance this year uh, because of Clawson and Weiss's focus. But uh, they're not a top 25 team right now for me. All conjecture at this point, of course, as we look to the season now, just a few weeks away. Craig James, great to talk to you this morning. We really appreciate your time. You got it, my friend. Have a good day.